वनकम नमस्ते नमस्कार वेलकम बैक टू जल प्रयाग लेट अस कंटिन्यू ऑन द सेम टॉपिक ऑफ रडार प्लॉटिंग व्हाट वी डिड लास्ट टाइम आई एम गोइंग टू टेक यू टू द पार्ट थ्री लेट अस सी व्हाट वी हैव डन टिल नाउ एंड वी विल कंटिन्यू फ्रॉम व्हाट एवर वी हैव दिस वाज द क्वेश्चन वी स्टार्टेड आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू रिपीट दैट इट इज ऑलरेडी देयर इन द previous uh, episode of the same radar plotting part number 2 now this was the question now uh, we had chosen a scale we had done a couple of uh, jobs already on the last two videos and particularly the last video had the problem solution we started the problem solution and uh, we had found out the two important data what we get from the rml that is your cpa and tcpa so let's continue from where we left now let us go to the next data what we can get from the plotting now the question already gave us our own course which is 040 and 12 knots now i'm going to show you how to plot that and then continue okay we need to draw a triangle call oa w you can call it w o a w a o whatever it is i'm just uh, calling it oaw triangle it's still the same now uh, a small principle of triangle is uh, doesn't matter in plotting or in chart work if i assign one vector one side of the triangle for some particular minutes you need to maintain the same thing for all all the sides okay that is a, that is a rule you need to follow otherwise your triangle is uh, it is wrong the data what you get is wrong so i already have the question for 12 minutes for oa so my rml is for 12 minutes so rest of the sides all the sides should also be for 12 minutes so this is what we have already done we have done oa which we can measure from the same scale the scale number 4 which we used in the start itself my next vector is wo uh, in a simple way to remember wo can be called as bay own bay own means it is my own course and speed okay and to plot this wo also should be for 12 minutes so uh, the distance what i am going to use or the small length of the vector which i am going to use will be for 12 minutes but at a speed of 12 knots which is my own speed i can do a normal calculation which i already gave you with your t1 d1 method i can go to the plotting sheet for the quick table also let me go to the plotting sheet you can see my vessel is doing Uh, 12 knots. So the y-axis on the left side shows me ship speed. So this is 12 knots, and this is the time for 12 minutes. So you can see it is coming to 2.4, which I can calculate by calculator also. So I'm going to use that as 2.4. So my vector length of W O is going to be 2.4 miles. And where will I measure? I'll measure it from scale number four, which we already chosen in the beginning of the question. We should never use the change. Uh, we should never change the scale while we are doing. So please maintain the same scale. So I'm going to take 2.4 miles from the scale four, and I'm going to draw a line vector. But this vector, please remember, direction is always from W to O. we should not change the direction so that is why it was called wo and way own it is always from w to o so that is why i am drawing a line called 040 so that it goes and reaches the o in the direction of wo uh, o is already fixed for you please remember this is one spot where lot of people do mistakes okay so you have to be careful it is a vector which is wo so that means w to o should be 040 so that is why the end point is o since i already know the o i have drawn this line now i am going to measure since o is already there with me it is already a fixed point uh, given in the question so i am going to take uh, my compass use 2.4 miles from o i am going to cut an arc for 2.4 from o and i get w so i have finished my vector called w o and it has got a direction and the direction is represented by a single arrow so remember this this is the normal protocol follow so for me the last vector that means the last uh, side of the triangle is remaining wa so all i am going to do is right now is pretty simple 
So I just join them from W to A. And our triangle is complete. Your W A, the distance is again for 12 minutes. Please remember that. And W A can be given in a simple way called as way another. Way another is your course and speed of target. So that is way another, another target or another vessel, whatever you want to call it. Remember the direction is always from W to A because I have to measure that right now. So the direction of the target, that means course of the target is from W to A. What I can do is place my roller scale on this green color line, bring it to the center of your screen, that is Charlie, and you measure the direction and that is the target's course. So I can give you answer as target's course. Uh, let us say 350 or 340 degree true. Okay, I'm giving you an approximate answer. Now, how do I measure the speed of the target? All I'm going to do is again take my divider, measure this distance of the green color as WA. Please go and check in your scale number four. So when you get that distance, that is for 12 minutes. Please convert it for 60 minutes. You can do that on the quick table also. You can do it by calculator also. So you, you know that if, uh, let us say he has given you three, three miles, let us say it got three miles. So this three mile is for 12 minutes. So three divided by 12 into six zero, you will get it for one hour, okay? It's represented again by a single arrow. There is no change in the number of arrows. So now what I've got is I've got two more important data, which I need before I continue the problem. So that is got uh, called as target course and target speed. So if I summarize right now, till the third uh, video, we have found out four datas. So they are namely CPA, TCPA. Please look at the color code. I've got these two values from your RML, which is your uh, OA. Then I got these two data from the green color vector, okay, target course and speed. The blue vector, we, which, which is mine, I already know it is given in the question. So this is the first four uh, data I got from this triangle. My next aim, the moment I finish my triangle, I need to find out what uh, is the rule requirements, okay, call regs. So this finding of this rule requirement, we do always after finishing the triangle. And when did we finish the triangle? We finished at A, so that is 8-12. That is why the reporting is done always at 8-12. Now, this uh, introduces us to the next two important data, which will help us in collision avoidance. So that data, what we find is called actually RBN aspect. Uh, different names are there. I'll brief you this on the next video because uh, I'm going to stop with this here. And uh, my next video will continue on RB aspect. When I do RBN aspect, I will finish the whole reporting. So that is why I didn't take up in this. So your RBN aspect, both are only for call rig purpose. And they are always calculated ones that first triangle is complete and uh, what we get is at A. That is why they always call, find, tell me the report at A, which is your 812. So this is how uh, we come up uh, with the next two data, which I'm going to do it only on the next video right now. As usual, I'm going to stop the video for your 10 minutes uh, timing. So let me stop it here. I'll uh, come with the next one where the initial reporting or what we call is initial assessment will finish. So with that fourth video, I'll finish off the basic right from the start to your initial assessment. This is very uh, critical for you because all your actions and decisions are made on the initial assessment. So I didn't want to rush it on the same video. So I'm going to make one more and give it to you soon. It is almost ready. Uh, please keep watching Jal Prayag. Until then, Vanakam, Namaste, Namaskar.